Hi, Grey Tiger here, and welcome to episode 13 of my Thoric Ironbrow playthrough with the dwarves. In the previous episode, uh, I believe we fought off some greenskins, which seems to be the norm recently, and we also fought off an incursion by some tomb kings. Uh, in this episode, I'm not quite sure what we'll do. Probably expand a little bit further north, uh, wreak a little bit of havoc in the World's Edge Mountains, um, and see what happens. So let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? So here we are in the World's Edge Mountains, and we have our main army with Thorak Eimbrow. Uh, looks like we actually have an upgrade for Gundred. So he's on level 32, so he's quite kitted out. We don't really have much left to give him. Um, what is his armor rating? 140 already. Okay, doesn't really need that. Perhaps we'll give him the assassinate in case we decide to separate him from the army. Okay, so what we have... So the Karakazul is building up again nicely, which is great. After we rescued their butts. Uh, we have the Top Knots. Mash One Finger on his way. I wonder if he's oh, coming to attack me or if he's best. going after Karakazul. Either way, we can't reach him this turn. Um, I don't want to leave Karak Asgal undefended, as I'm trying to build up the Stonemasons facility there. So we'll just uh, stay where we are, and try and keep an eye on what he does. And so let's have a look at our other armies. Uh, so we've got Bronn, he's um, waiting for the inevitable attack by the is that a Strigoi, a vampire count, so, yep. Stromni is recuperating after his battle against the Tomb Kings. Now, let's see, what can we build at Lamia? We've got 17,500. So, we've got a bit of cash to play with. Let's um, upgrade the gemstones. And, let's see, what tier are we on? We could go for some Iron Drakes and some Thunderers, perhaps. It's 5,700. And what other options do we have? Um, and perhaps an engineering school. I would like some engineers in my armies. We're earning 3,969 per turn, so we're getting quite a good income. Um, what will this give us? Of gold, income from trade, faction wide. You come from all buildings. Mm, in two mines, so I'll leave that be. Uh, let's click That's back on the army and have a look at our other main force, Yadri. And he's just chilling. Not really much for him to do at the moment. So let's just have a look. What could he possibly do? We could move him down to Karak Sabah, perhaps. Although we we do have friendly um, factions around us with the Wood Elves and the Lizard Men. Uh, where is the closest enemy? Okay, the Top Knots by there. So perhaps we could send Yadri after them. That might not be too bad an idea. Um, yes, let's have a look. Uh, what's the public order like here? Okay, public order is good. Okay, so Yadri has a mission. He's going after. Can I help you? The uh, Urks to the northwest. Uh, let's see, we can upgrade Mount Arachnos. Uh, but I think I'd prefer to wait so we can get the fourth tier of the Stonemasons building chain there. So, with that done, I think that's all for the turn. So, let's just see if we can keep an eye on these top knots. Or not. What brings you to my mighty forge? Yeah, what brings you, Lizard? You would like a defensive alliance. Um, I've got no reason to fight you, Tic-Tac-Toe. And who are you at war with? Oh, you're at war with the Bowmen? Uh, no, because then we'd end up in a fight with them, and I don't really want to fight them. Um, no. I'm happy to just have, you know, peaceable relations. You do your thing, I'll do mine. Or Clan Eshin. I keep forgetting that Clan Eshin is actually at war with me. Because I very rarely see them. 
Oh, we've encountered a dwarf in faction. Clan Ungrund. I wonder if they managed to take eight peaks. Oh! Make it snappy, I've got work to do. Hmm. What would they like? Military access. Why on earth would you like military access? Ah, you would like to wander through my lands there. <clears throat> Uh, if you can give me some cash for it, perhaps I will let you have military access. So I would like a payment of 2200. Not a chance. Possibly a thousand? Nope. Okay. Oh well. Your loss. I'm not the one that wanted to traipse through there. Aha! Diesel Helsnich is about to attack. Um, it's not too bad. He's got several, uh, Grave Guard. Um, they think I'll win this one. <coughs> so, control the large army. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, uh, go to the battlefield. We join our defenders of this desert settlement in the dead of night. And we find ourselves under attack by... An army of the undead. You can see that they've amassed in two directions and slowly making their way towards the walls. Now, I'm not too worried about what we have here. This is going to be mostly foot soldiers, and I think we can take care of them. Uh, if you have a hero by there, though. Uh, this side. If they do get through the gates, they've got a couple of knights, which could be a problem. Although, that said, they are being torn apart by our defences on the wall. And there's their battering ram. That's a really cool looking unit. <laughs> so, which side will get to the walls first, I wonder? Okay, the towers are there. Alright. Let's start pulling our troops back, perhaps. So, here they go. Got three lots of, uh... Three lots of quarrelers. <laughs> I forgot the name for a moment. We need to get them off the walls. Yep, good. And get them back to the main... part of the... Uh, settlement. <clears throat> so they will help shore up. The defences in the centre here. And should be able to hold them off. Got a lot of firepower here. Alright, so we got some can rates. Not quite sure. We got there our vargeists. Oh no, not like the look of that. I think you're gonna have a. T They're gonna prove a bit of a problem, I think, the vargeists. Yeah, they've intercepted one of our units. Oh. Now they're attacking another. <coughs> Alright, let's get our missile units. Concentrating on them. I think our grudge throw is going to prove to be pretty, pretty useless. So I might just pull it back, out of the way. Okay, we've taken care of the Vargasts, which is nice to see. At least one unit of them. Oh no, they're coming back. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not good. They got stuck out there. Right. If you guys wouldn't mind, why did you stop? I need you to get back here. Oh, I was just about to use that unit. Sod off. Alright, that Vargas won't last long, so I won't worry about him. Okay, they can uh, concentrate their fire up here. Gonna need them. 
Oh, their Lord is on his last legs. This could be over very quickly. Oh, he's down. So we could see them start to crumble uh, quite quickly. They're coming in from the left flank. I don't think they're going to do much to us there. I'm not concerned. Are they trying to come around the back? Oh, they are. The cheeky so and sos. Oh, I'm glad that I have these miners back here. Just uh, twiddling their thumbs. If we can get that one unit behind them. Get them pinned. Excellent. Well, they don't really have much now left as a threat. What have we got there? Nothing really. Getting them, no problem. We've got one or two units up on the walls. But I think we're pretty. Pretty safe. Yep, we're good there. I think we can say that this one is a victory. So let's just speed this up. So one or two of our Thunder units took a bit of damage. Uh, this Coraler's unit took a lot of damage. But uh, in the end, a <laughs> close victory. Based on the troops I've got left, I'm not so sure I'd agree with that, but uh, in the end, it's victory nonetheless. And here we are, back on the campaign map. Sorry, I was just jotting down some ideas for my Bretonian... Uh, mod uh, when I was waiting for the screen to finish loading so close victory uh, which once again I do disagree with but what would we like where are we this is ah right yes let's go for the province growth and other things at Kemri that's right that's where it was Kemri okay uh, war further leadership or Recruitment cost minus twenty five percent. I don't think I'm going to be recruiting any more units in the next five turns, so let's go for the leadership. Not that that's a big issue for the dwarves, of course. Raiding in the Devil's Backbone. Okay, so Kalida has an army in there somewhere. Raiding at Blightwater. Okay, so another top notch army. Ah, here we go. Here's the uh, Belagar. Uh, Belagar's uh, come quite a way south. His army's taken a lot of damage. There's actually some nice units in there. Nice mix of units. Looks like he's quite te technologically advanced. Uh, I wonder why he came all the way down here just to take the Crooked Fang Fort. I, I don't know. Thoric, I am but bow. since we know he's here, let's have a chat to him. Together we're stronger. Let our clans be as one. Because together we are stronger, uh, but you're not willing to join a confederation. But then would I really want to be controlling stuff up your end too? Uh, just go for a non-aggression pact, um, and I'll ask for some cash for that. Um, I can get a bit more than that. <clears throat> Maybe let's just drop it down a tad. What do you think of that, Belagar? Yes. Cool. Thank you. Very nice of you, my fellow Dowie. Actually, Karakazul, what do we have with them? Military access and alliance. And a war coordination target is available. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, who would we want them to attack? How about you go after them? And I shall go after Tried the top knots. We're going to go teach Mash One Finger a bit of a lesson. I think we can reach him there. Oh, Vlad von Karstein is wandering down here too. Everybody's coming down here. It's a popular region. 
All right. Let's attack Mash one finger. Right. Decisive victory. Um, not surprising, to be honest. Doesn't really have Clap much of an army that's a threat. Tested. And we want to grow this I province. So let's go for growth. Prisoners. Uh, now Vlad hasn't done anything to me, so I'll leave him be. But I'm thinking I'll make a move here. Reclaim. And can I ambush? Vengeance Hopefully we can catch awaits. these top knots with their pants down. If they try to come up towards our settlement. Uh, and now let's move out through the desert. Oh, we'll use the underways the here. Try to avoid any attrition. If we can. Mm, should we go for the growth? Yeah, we got the cash for it. <clears throat> we got some unassigned skill points. Who needs something? Ah, Bron. The Draxlayer. Uh, his excellent defense of Kemri. And seems some skill points. Uh, let's see. He's got quarrelers with him. So we'll just upgrade the quarrelers that are part of his forces. And I'm how is Kemri ready. going? Okay, we need... 27 turns for surplus. That might take a while. But if it's just sitting there generating some cash in the background, that's fine. Um... Let's move on. So as I was said, uh, when I was loading back from that battle, I was just jotting down some ideas for um, the Bretonian mod I'm currently working on. So at first the mod was just going to be uh, a Crusades mechanic, but um, I'm feeling that that's not quite enough. I'd like to try and get some mechanics in for the individual lords. So I'm just jotting down ideas for... Um, mechanic for Luen um, uh, and the bonuses that he would receive from it and whether that would all be released as one or whether the Crusades mechanic will be released first with maybe one of the legendary lords having mechanics and then the others updated afterwards uh, I'm not quite sure yet uh, depends on how complicated these mechanics for the lords turn out to be Ambush foiled. Oh, okay. So the top knots saw our ambush. Um, where did they go? Oh, it's Kalida who's raiding. Okay. Do we send our army from Lamia out after her? If I can click on that army. That's a pretty decent army. I think we could probably take on anything we meet. Let's, um... Why can I not click on there? I'm not in a... My anger burns bright. That's odd. I can click outside of my range, but not inside my range. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to take attrition. I don't want to be taking attrition. Nice. Let's just stay where we are. Um, Thorak, where were you heading? Oh, you could... Go down and destroy Death Gorge. But we need you around Carrick as Gal, especially now that Grimgore has arrived with an army. Uh, let's just put you back in here. We want you to protect that area. And we do have another army on the move. Um, they can take out Death Gorge, actually. If they destroy Death Gorge on their way towards the floating village, then that would be perfectly fine. Uh, let's have a look at our. Uh, rune words, so that's active for eight more turns, and that one's going to expire soon. So we have missile, armor piercing, physical resistance, and missile range. Although now we've reached tier four, uh, we've actually got a few more options available to us. So what do we have the ability to grab? We can get uh, bonus versus infantry, uh, or we can go for bonus versus large. Uh, let's give bonus versus infantry. Uh, ward save, 7%. Provides a defensive buff for your units for a short period. Um, what were the other ones? Physical resistance, missile resistance, melee defense. Let's go to the melee defense. And what else do we have? Uh, additional ammunition, 
uh, or upkeep production. Well, we're fine for money, so let's go with the ammunition. And let's create that. That's going to cost us 90 earth gold. And room wood created for 15 turns is uh, bonus fire resistance. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Let's. Yeah, there's not much else to do that turn, so let's move on. So, uh, going back to that Bretonian mod, um, currently think of ideas for Luen, and I'm thinking some kind of fealty mechanic, um, where the other Bretonian factions have certain levels of fealty which they can pledge to you, and you gain bonuses within their regions. Or at the top tier adjacent regions. Um, I think that I can manage. I think I can put that together. Um, I wonder why Vlad went out of his way to come down here and destroy the Death Gorge. Doesn't quite make sense. Uh, an Age of Peace. At the last of the Chaos Hordes, is, oh, sorry, as the last of the Chaos Hordes is scoured from the face of the world, an awful silence descends. More than a silence, it's an absence of sound which echoes for the all-consuming void without. All creation is stilled, breath held in anticipation of the final cataclysm. Then, tentatively, gently, life reasserts itself. Not in a grand way, to echo those who sought to end everything, but in the small ways which of themselves are life. Birdsong pierces the silence, hesitant at first, then swelling, a defiant hymn to creation, Born on a soft wind that sifts dust onto the scattered corpses littering the bloody plains of battle. So the birds are out there on the battlefield chittering and chirping because things are so great as they peck at the innards of the dead. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, Kalida is still raiding. I'm gonna have to go out after her, aren't I? Oh, and now we've got these guys. The top knots. Okay. Well, we're going after them. It looks like a... Uh, Yes. Vlad and... Is it Isabella with him? No. Vlad's got himself a mistress in Melissa. Uh, let's head for the floating I'm village. Oh, there's the other ones I wanted. Uh, let's leave Bronn to his... Um, relaxation, I suppose. Alright, Lamia, we have lot. another option. Public order is okay. Could be better. So let's spend a bit on the public order. Growth. Mm, let's not worry about the growth there. Uh, we've got the option of building. That's right. I couldn't quite decide last time. Do we want to go? Ability to grab thunderers. That's that's what I'll go for. Okay. There's no rush to build up the rest of the settlement. Um, well, it looks like we've got the two armies of Karakazoo. Oh, Clan Eshin has finally shown up. Let's um, let's move ourselves up here. I want to engage Clan Eshin. Oh, oh my. Clan Ungrund has really moved here in force. Did they take Karakat Peaks? They must have. Uh, so, Gundred, what would you like? Getting close to maximum here. Let's give you some life. Some extra health. Make you more sturdy. For the battles ahead. Okay, so we'll see here if the Karakazul can take out... Uh, Dringorakaz. I think that was pronounced correct. Oh, no. Never mind. Clan Eshin took it. Oh, and Queen Kalida is attacking Maharak. Oh, you bugger. Where did you come from? Oh, we're going to lose that. You, yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to take her out. I can see that clan. And... No, there's no way he attacked that and got over there as well. So did Karakazul attack that? And if they did, why would they just not occupy it? No, they couldn't have because it's still got the Archon there. Interesting. A lot happened over that end turn there. Grudge issued. Capture and occupy the following settlement. Oh, don't worry, I will. Can we catch... Oh, I can't catch them. Who is that? Ah, stupid 
Throts. Let's throt the unclean. Can't get to him, but perhaps I can lay a trap. So let's see if we can get the ambush. Alright, uh, where is our other army? So Vlad just doesn't have one army down here, he's got a second one as well. Mad lad. Okay, here's the top knots. I'm not going to be able to reach them this turn, I don't think. No. Alright, let's use the underway again, and then we're in a good spot for the next turn. Uh, let's uh, skip over to Stromney. Alright, Stromney, you Master have a job to do. You have to go rescue Maharak. I can't believe she snuck through. I could have sworn she was raiding on the last turn. So how she made it down to Maharak, I don't know. Oh! They've come and they're attacking us. And our, you know, our ambush has succeeded. Let's uh, fight this one. It's going to be a decisive victory if I order resolve. Uh, I don't know if they'll get anything really that's really a big threat. I guess I'll soon find out if I play this one poorly. Okay, so we've deployed our troops just out in the middle of the field. We're going to let them come to us. We have the ranged advantage after all. So, we'll let that play out for us. Uh, we may have to deal with one or two of the dwellers below us. Who knows? So we've positioned a unit of archers behind our uh, line of grudge throwers, just in case. But other than that, let's just let the artillery and the quarrelers do their job. Of absolutely flattening these Skaven scum. And it's an army of Skaven slaves, pan rats. I think they've got some storm vermin. Mind the mushrooms, boys. Mind the mushrooms. Yep, so I think they're going to try and outflank us, which is in not a surprise. So we'll have to make sure that they don't do any real damage if they do. So we do not want our uh, war machines to suffer. Let's see if we can get this unit. Is it going to be timed right? Oh, that's good enough. And hopefully I got that right as well. Yay! Excellent. Oh! Okay, I don't like that. Let's get you guys firing at them. I want them out of here. So you go tie them up so they can't shoot at us. Okay, well, it looks like a lot of their army is running already. Oh, uh, yeah, this battle's practically over. need to be holding them up now. I can send them after that unit that's in combat with my slayers. And that's over quite quickly. Oh, <laughs> Thoric is determined to hunt the buggers down. How they're keeping up pace with them, I don't know. Whoa. You're doomed. <laughs> she hit him. Yeah, Thorax boys are getting tired. Uh, I don't think they need to worry about chasing them down. I think the catapults are doing their job. Yeah, they've basically decimated that unit of poor Skaven slaves who were fleeing anyway. Decisive victory, and I expected no less there. Okay, so this occurred. I think this is outside of our territory, so we'll go for the off gold. No use for you. Okay, so we'll attack, I think, Maharak on this turn. 
Come, come, kin. Let us feast and drink. Yes, what would you like? Military access. Yes, I'm willing to give you that. Uh, but let's see if you're willing to give me anything in return. I don't want alliances. I don't want you drawing me into wars that I don't want to be part of. Uh, how about that? Cool. Maybe a little bit of cash is helping. Seeming like he could be quite powerful. It says his strength is quite high. I have to have a look and see on the diplomacy screen and see what um, strength ranking he is. The Biting Blade. Weapon damage plus 45%. Defeated Throt the Unclean. Gained 10% hit points. Cool. Thoric gets a little bit tougher. Master of Runecraft. Okay. Need to come out of the underway here. Ah, I suppose so. And we do have Sim some battle. artillery pieces. So we can attack immediately. Um, it would be a decisive victory. I wonder if... Is there walls around that? Uh, settlement? Probably not. No. Well, in that case, I'm just going to order resolve. I mean, we took some damage, but we'll be able to replenish in no, uh, in quite short order. Uh, so let's occupy. And we took the Dawnstone, and we've got our province back. And we've got rid of that grudge. Oh, and we have some Ogre mercenaries. So it's all happening there at the moment. Okay, so we've got some upgrades for Stromni. Um, what would we like to give Stromni? He's not really needing lightning strike. Uh, let's give casualty replenishment. And then once they have recovered, they can go back to Lamia. Or maybe before, who knows. Uh, that's right, Marak, I had not really put anything into Marak, which is good. So it didn't really um, matter too much that they took that one. Okay, alright, so let's move what on do you want? to here. It's a bit more interesting up here. Well, it looks like the vampires have taken the layer's sorrow. I'm, I'm really surprised they've come so far south. It's a really busy area down here now. So what do we want to do with Thorak? I mean, I don't want to bother attacking them. Thorak Ironbrow. Dringarak. Are there any greenskin settlements out there? Oh my lord! He owns the Badlands. Vlad owns the Badlands. What the hell is going on here? Okay, I think I will be going into conflict with Vlad. My God, is there anything he doesn't own? Okay. Zandri is where his his settlements stop. I am surprised. I think I might wander north a bit, have a look, see what's around. Uh, Karak Eight Peaks is under Eshin's control. Okay, maybe we'll take that from them, or at least uh, maybe we'll give it a try. Uh, Yadri. Okay, Yadri, you can come out of the underway and attack the floating village. So we're looking at a close victory. Do they have a settlement? No, okay, so they'll be up on the brow of a hill. Well, let's save that off. How many will we be fighting? We'll be fighting three armies, is it? Well, not complete armies, but yeah. So, savage orcs, basically. Uh, what will we lose if we... Okay. Hmm. What do we have? We've got warriors on the front lines there. We've got the thunder barge. We've got some artillery. So, we outrange them. Uh, however, they've got the fast movers, so they'll outflank us. Uh, let's give it a go. Well, we find ourselves here vastly outnumbered and the Irks are coming in from all directions. So we've got a Thunder Barge here, just peppering them as they try to come through the trees. And oh, we can see that they're already on us and that's not good. 
I was not expecting them to get on us so quickly there. Probably going to need to bring these guys down to help out on that side. As a matter of fact, let's get our Lord in there too. And let's try and get these guys out of here as quickly as we can. So let's bring in some artillery. Actually, let's take these miners back. Let's put the miners back. I think we're going to need them there quicker than I initially thought. So, are we able to drop some bombs on these scum? No, we're a long way away from being able to do that. Alright, so the Thunder Barge is moving as quickly as it can, which is not quick. But we should be able to get some bombs off. There we go, that's going to seal the deal with them, I think. Alright, so these Dwarf Warriors have really, really proven to be in a bad spot. Alright, let's get these guys up on the hill. Yeah, I thought they were going to try and do that. They're going to try and outflank us. And they've got the troops to do so. Get you guys here. Protect that flank there. Get you back in the right spot. Okay, where is my lord? Okay. Can you guys throw some things in, please? Or well, at the back. Throw them at the back. Come on. Chuck them, chuck them. Thinking perhaps I should have let the uh, auto resolve take care of this. Because I don't think I would have been outflanked as badly. It's ridiculous the amount of uh, orcs there are. I was hoping they would not come in in one big bunch. I'm really hoping they'd come in in smaller units. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So we're going to have to deal with them as they are. Now hopefully this Thunder Barge can help carry the day. Come on, we need you to get into a spot to drop your bombs. Got loot. Oh, yep, that's good, that's good. You just hover there. Alright, so they're out of ammo. Let's pull them back, uh, pull the Corollas back. We've been holding the line there best they could. Well, they're behind us now. That's a real problem. We're going to have to engage a melee. We can't have them going into the back of our... Into the back of our catapults. Oh, and they're in the back of our catapults. Alright, we're in trouble. We've got a round behind us. Um, just too many fast movers. Now they've got a wire going. We're going to need to get a good shot off here. Oh, Thunder Barge is so excruciatingly slow. Yeah, that wasn't the best. Um, I think I'm going to lose my... Uh, Catapults here. I'm gonna lose some corollas for sure. The corollas have taken a pounding. The corollas just not really equipped to be in hand to hand combat with these guys. Where is my lord? I'm not even sure where the hell he is. 
Oh, he's in the middle of the scrap. Come on, get them, get them, get them. Oh, that'll help. Oh, good. Their, their lord is looking like he might want to flee. Oh, and that might give us the victory. I think he's got it. I think we got him. Oh, that did not go to plan. My lines crumbled, and... Well, we suffered for it. Strike out! Now, is there anything... We might lose those warriors there. Fortunately, I think the war machines are actually going to scrape through. Yeah, I think I got lucky. I think I got lucky there. Close victory. Uh, I'd say it was probably closer than that. <laughs> it was a lucky victory, I think. Um, yeah, well, that defeats the top knots, I think. I think this might have been their last settlement. Uh, let's... Well, we don't need the cash. We're good for cash. Do I want to occupy this? If I don't, then the undead might take it. But I'm not at war with them, so I don't really care. So let's just raise the settlement. I don't want it. Maybe the lizards will take it. Raid any region belong to the following race. Savage Orc Tribes. Grudge aborted. Ah, we destroyed the top knots. Okay. Achieved another victory over the Greenskins. So the top knots are gone. And we're now suffering attrition. Uh oh. Armed and ready. Oh no. Okay. I didn't think it was going to let me select them. Wow, my computer's slowing down. What the... What the smeg's going on? Uh, okay, so... We defeated them. I don't care about research at the moment. There's nothing in the blue line. Uh, oh, let's give him immortality. Okay, uh, and they're going to suffer a bit, but we should be able to get them to recuperate next turn or in a few turns from now. Uh, as we'll have them head back to our territory. Um, Kuta. Not really fussed about what I build there. It's just really. There is a settlement to deter them from going straight off the Karagorud. Um, ah, that's right. We had uh, Thoric here. Commandment available. Ah, of course. We took back our province. Um. Let's go for the growth. And let's end the turn. I think now I need to start working on those grudges that are just crippling parts of my economy. But I think that might be a task for the next episode. So once we reach the end turn here, we might wrap up. Just have a quick look at the state of our forces. Your reach grows yet oh, further, great lord. Successful. Your okay, endless victories cash. are nice. changing the very fates uh, themselves. Okay, we're gonna have a rebellion the world soon. Falls before your uh, incredible power. Okay. Let's go to affect Quatar, I think. All right. Let's just change your stance, and you can head back to our region. All right, so they're on their way home. Uh, Thoric is up here, and okay, so Angren did take a couple of settlements here, um, but they haven't taken Eight Peaks. Um, I don't know if I want to attack Eight Peaks at the moment. I think I'd need a second army probably. I'd imagine that Eight Peaks would be fairly well defended. Um, we can't see uh, what they're like. And, well, I if do have lightning strike right. with that army, so I could do a lightning attack on them. It's a possibility for next episode. 
Uh, and our final army is... Uh, maybe not final. Stromny. Here we go. So Stromny. Okay, they're pretty much Thanks fully recovered. Let's get them to go back to... Um, Salamia. Boom. Okay. We needed them to go back to Lamia quicker than that. That's going to be interesting. Okay, so looks like a few things shaping up for next episode. Uh, so in, I would like to thank you for joining me in this uh, episode. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but before I go, uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Uh, so thanks to Hunt Apple Pie, uh, to Alexander, and to Solarith Magnetar. I'm Gretaga, and I'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>